All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan. <clears throat> and uh, I should have drank some water before I hit the record button, but... Mm. <clears throat> <clears throat> Had a great night's sleep last night. Woke up pretty early. Uh, Rage uninstalled Starship Pixels, simply because, uh, yeah, as I was a little concerned about, but didn't realize how bad it was, yeah, I just ran into, like, a brick wall where everyone just simply just does boarding ships. It's, like, the most stupid, retarded strategy. Can't say the F word or the G word anymore. But, yeah, totally F word, totally G word. And, <clears throat> yeah, it's just, like... God. Now I know why it's not as big as it could be. Hopefully I'll be able to design something like that. Like, Because uh, I was also working on my game yesterday, and I just... Uh, the, the code is so bad, but I mean, for 60 bucks, which is still a chunk of change, just like the cost of a AAA video game, yeah, I mean, it's, it's to be expected. Plus, the guy I think is in China, or somewhere definitely around Asia, but I'm going to guess it's China. So his English... I mean, his English is okay, but it's obviously not perfect, and... Yeah, I mean, the code's efficient and runs pretty well, but there are obviously still bugs. Like, I was just adding, I wasn't changing, I don't screw with the code too much, right? Because honestly, I'm not really a coder, right? Even though I can, I'm obviously in the process of learning. But that's just going to take me years to, you know, get kind of good. And I'm just simply using his built-in editor like normal, and then I run into a bug because he didn't, it's like, it's like, it's so, it's so frustrating. That's one of the reasons why I would like to work with, uh, you know, Americans, you know, or, or Europeans. So essentially, you know, just, they can kind of figure out what I'm getting at. I don't want to get, I don't want to even give the potential to fuck it bad name. Because uh, again, Google doesn't give a shit. Joe Rogan's gone. They don't care. They didn't care when Pewdie PewDiePie fucking left. Uh, you know, well, actually, that's because PewDiePie only took his live... That window is open really big. That, that probably means it's warm right now. Actually, what is the temperature here? Ah, <sighs> but yeah. Uh, oh my god, 70 degrees outside. Okay, uh, I'm gonna have to open... Okay, I can, you can still hear me while I'm talking while I ramble, so... <clears throat> um, <clears throat> but yeah, I prefer to work with, basically, uh... Yeah. Americans and shit. At least especially with the coding stuff. So anyway, uh, I, I think what will happen is I'll do my best with this tower defense module. Like, I want to add a lot of stuff to it, but I, I just, I don't think I'll be able to do it. And then, uh, or actually what I could do is, uh, let's see, go back to the city, city, ugh, oh my god, city, Builder kit. I don't remember the exact URL. City Builder Kit Unity. Uh, I don't want to go to the asset. I want to go to their actual site. Yeah, there you go. CityBuildingKit.com. So I might actually use their hire developer thing. It'll be for, for a very simple thing. I just simply see like what they do. And on top of that, I'm probably going to ask them to, you know, do other shit. Um, so let's see. Uh, yeah, because the one that I do want, because I was looking at this before I, I started recording, because I was thinking, okay, maybe I'll maybe I'll use this and then put RPG elements into it, because there's still extra stuff I need to add to this kit to make it uh, infinite game compatible. Uh, let's see. Obviously, my game is gonna be sci-fi. It's gonna be st it's, it's all gonna be in the same universe. So the tower defense game is really just more to get my thing out, right? Get myself out there. Get the brand name out there. Just get myself, you know, like the beginners, uh, you know, beginner part. Just get people, like, used to the brand, you know, which kind of sucks because it's, like, it's going to be hard to add. Because I really would like to at least add something a little different to the tower defense game. Uh, where is the thing I'm looking for? Uh, let's see. Because I know they have it. I thought that was Palpatine there for a second. Hmm. Uh, you're here. Oh, great. Let's see. Maybe I typed in the word Asian. Oh, so it was. Yeah, I skipped right over it. So what's interesting is some big games. I at least look like they have like you know actual programmers and shit. So the world, the world's biggest Asian game has worked with the city building kit. A lot of famous U.S. developers like I, I don't even know who Level Lord is. So maybe some that could actually put my thing in here too. 
All right, because basically, because basically, all I have to do is just buy this thing. Obviously, figure how it works, reskin the whole thing. That's where a lot of the money's going to go. Uh, I think what I'll actually do is I'll hire like a third-party illustrator. All right, and then I give these guys those illustrations, and then they create the assets for the game into this. This is the second game, obviously. Uh, I was thinking maybe I could just combine the tower defense module with this module, but it's probably going to cause a lot of problems. So I'm just better off just creating a... Because I, what I don't want is to create a bunch of different games. I actually want you know something I can always keep improving upon forever. So, um, And then let's see... Yeah, and then this thing does not actually have a hero or an RPG element, which is kind of important to me. So I'll, I'm gonna have to hire them to just add that part in and see. I mean, it'd be pretty simple, right? It's just I have a character. He can equip stuff. He'll level up, right, along with other stuff, and then the equipment will like affect like different things, you know, like build speed, you know, you know, power of a certain type of unit, extra damage or whatever. It'll just be simple. And then I still need some kind of infinite thing, so. I don't know, like, as you as your hero gets stronger, your whatever, your, uh, it's like, I want some kind of, like, player scaling like they have in Elder Scrolls. Um, player scaling, and World of Warcraft, and actually Bit Heroes had scaling, too, so it's it's really good. Uh, yeah, so, uh, that's pretty much uh, what I was thinking about. And then, uh, yeah, gotta do this. Now, luckily, there's actually not much happening. So, uh, but there's a couple interesting articles I do want to read. Alright, so Bitcoin searches for this week is still 15. Um, let's see, did I actually hit the refresh button? I'm pretty sure that I did. I'm going to do this one more time. Uh, yeah, okay, so that was correct. Uh, Bitcoin does at 66.2%. 24 volumes increased to 126.6 billion, so really not too many changes. Uh, Bitcoin at 9130, that's what I like to see, some flatlining. <laughs> I mean, for the most part, it's not really much to really do, uh, markets-wise, right? You know, I mean, we 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 reopen uh, when we can reopen, right? Forty-three fifty-four for Litecoin. Uh, of course, the Democrats are trying to stretch this bullshit out. See, see, first it was about flattening the curve, then it's about saving lives, then it's about whatever. Now it's just about res it's like the, these fucking Democrats just keep making shit up, right? You know, Cuomo was mostly doing the right thing, but now he's just in on this, you know, f-word. Uh, you know, Megan Fox is Filipino. It is uh, she's I actually met, I actually ran into her when I was doing um, back when I was doing background the second Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I didn't realize it was actually her at the time, but then I actually realized that's actually her. Um, it's like oh, she's a very nice person, and she also started out as background too. So she so she doesn't have any of the. Uh, uh, usual arrogant actor, actress kind of thing. Like, oh, I'm the fucking greatest. Fuck you all. You know, I, I, nobody likes people like that. Yeah, very cool person. And obviously, she's very good looking too. But she definitely looks like you know wife material. So you know, it's like it's like the best. Uh, anyway, uh, Litecoin forty three fifty four. Uh, Dogecoin three thirteen point three million market cap. Yeah, very nice. Uh, but, 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 but I'm still thinking about the game. Also, now also I'm thinking about Megan Fox. Uh, go figure. Uh, 29.63 cents for Hivecoin. Um, well, I don't think the spark line's broken because now we actually zoomed out. That's why the spark lines were always broken. Um, 3.19, okay. And uh, Steam. Where's Steam? Steam is 20.22 cents, so pretty much not much happened with crypto. Looks like after, because I don't, let's see, so I don't know how much did it even go up yesterday. I didn't even bother checking, but uh, let's see, 24.3, so it went up to, yeah, so it went up a lot yesterday ish, and then it's coming back now. Maybe we're starting to heat up in some states as lockdowns. Okay, this sounds important, so we'll take a look at you. Alpha investors should reject CEOs' pay, proxy firms. No, you should probably pay them a lot because uh, Google's getting away with a lot. So whatever, uh, it's not Agent, Agent Pi, right? That's the, I'm pretty sure it's Agent Pi because I might be confusing with the FCC director. Agent Pi. 
uh, American lawyer who serves. Uh, yeah, I confused. Yeah, I got the names wrong. Um, Google CEO. What the hell's his name? Sunder Pin P Pichai. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I should actually. Oh, I didn't look at it. What? What? God damn it! All right. Go away. I I I, I miss my Chrome already. Sunder Pichai. Uh, he's a materials engineer. Okay, I was gonna. I, I might have look up if he was a lawyer of some sort. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so I guess for whatever reason, Google decided they wanted a more technical uh, type of CEO rather than a lawyer type to keep the feds at bay. I wonder if that'll actually cost Google something. I and mean, after all, there is supposedly a lawsuit that's already being filed. I mean. Department of Justice is moving ahead with their lawsuit. I don't have, I'm not going to say much more about it simply because, you know, we've seen this bullshit before. I mean, there's a reason why Trump's now about to lose Joe Biden. Like, he's actually going to lose to someone fucking mentally. Like, Joe can have, like, they can attack Joe for all his mental instabilities, but you know what? 87% of black people are voting for Joe Biden right now. All right? Their polls are already out for it. Alright? It's like, you know, like the Republicans just like do not understand the importance of race and demographics, <clears throat> and when the, and when they do, they just decide to do what the left does, which is pander to them. There's no point in pandering to them because they're just going to be like, oh, the Republicans just want my vote, fuck them. So do the Democrats, but the Democrats give us more shit. And of course, you know, they're also much more strict against you know cops and stuff. There are actual fundamental problems with the Republican Party, so it's like. There's no point in having the Republican Party, but no one wants to hear that. So, you know, <clears throat> I guess get ready for uh, Joe Biden as president, right? You know, I mean, at that point, he'll just be a puppet figure, right? The American presidency will just be like, uh, like whatever, whatever prestige the American presidency used to have, Joe Biden will, you know, uh, will destroy what's left of it, right? Because everyone's just going to see that he just is just mentally not there. Goldman says buy world's worst stock market because rebound is coming. And, uh, okay, so Goldman Sachs is trying. So it looks like Goldman Sachs must have some call options and pump in the market. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Neck relief. That does not look comfortable. I mean, it doesn't look uncomfortable, but I don't. I rather have a giant, you know, soft thing around my neck. Bag syrup. Hmm, actually, that could sound. Uh, that could sound like an assassination attempt. Blah blah blah. All right, so there's literally nothing here. JMC coins at eight to nine, maybe ten. It's uh, it's actually been doing all right. Four hundred four coins at two to three, so it's back to normal at least until the swap ends. Um, two by two coin is sixty seven to seventy. Uh, compound coin is let's see fifty six fifty six to seventy two hundred satoshis of a dog coin, so not too bad. Uh, nothing new here. Uh, Mitch said that he'll definitely have something for me to retweet, and then hopefully BTC Pop will retweet that because BTC Pop like just is very inactive on their Twitter. Uh, but we'll have something there. Uh, I already looked at this. I didn't look at the Bitcoin. Uh, Google search for news. Uh, blah blah blah. By the demo, so as well. Okay. Um, all right, so this guy is just an idiot, or he's trying to prevent people from getting rich. Bitcoin drops below, strong rejection, blah, 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 blah. All right, so pretty much Bitcoin is behaving exactly so far as it did last time. The only difference was no real significant, like, drop that was a problem. All right, when Bitcoin did have its little drop, uh, where is it? When it did have its little drop, right, it just it basically went from 10,000 to 95, then the 9130s. 91.3, which is now. So, I mean, I most was like a like 9% drop. It wasn't that bad. So, I hope that what I hope what this means though is Bitcoin really can still make it to 1 million before it starts crashing like a bubble. Uh, we'll have to see. Uh, Donald Trump is using his usual, uh, you know, whatever campaign mode. Uh, Democrats and Andrew uh, H word is, uh, you know doing this usual thing so yeah the democrats you know have everybody where they want them and uh it's just sad it's just sad we're gonna elect a senile old retard 
to uh, to the presidency. Because Republicans have zero empathy, zero creativity, and they're just fucking retarded. You know, it's just like all they care about is money, right? So, all right, that's all they really care about. That I'm going to make it my duty to just simply completely wipe out the Republican Party, and then just reform it under something like like an act, or something that actually resembles America First. Right? So, or I could just simply abandon it too. So, uh, and then just let the uh, they let. It's just and then just let everybody fight against themselves, and I just come in and just you know have no resistance. <laughs> All right, so New York City's still stuck at four seven. Uh, let's see, where is? Oh, here we go, twenty seven twenty six. I mean, we have a lot of unhealthy fat people and old people here in New York City, so uh, I imagine this ICU bed thing's not going to change for a while. Bidding wars start to heat up in some states as coronavirus lockdown eases. Coronavirus not staying kind of, but the home buying market is so bad that buyers are actually facing bidding wars in certain markets. Yeah, the demand is still there. It's just that, you know, they're just not allowed to go out there. Uh, let's see. I've seen a lot of competitive competition. All right, so. So, yeah, so this is mostly liberal areas. Not surprising because liberals were probably just working from home. Uh, cause, cause again, this hurts, I mean, a lot of it hurts, so in terms of culture war, it hurts liberals, but in terms of money, it hurts conservatives and poor, and, all, and pretty much almost all poor people, simply because they don't have uh, internet access, or if they do, they don't know what to do, they don't do much with it, right, you know, mostly probably because they're also stupid, right, not saying that all poor people are stupid, but you're poor for a reason, right, and I was like that too. So, you know, and I was a smart guy, but I still did dumb things. So, you know, uh, that's pretty much what it is, right? Uh, and yeah, that, <laughs> and until they actually get smart and find God, they'll remain poor. Locations are still unlocked now with boost, blah, 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 blah. Redfin numbers, prior to the pandemic, demand on pay supply, uh, driving up home prices, especially for really, we'll start, well, well, before probably the first time borrowing market in the country was the highest in the sector. Lock.com sales to pull their house for the market, create pent up demand. If you want to get in there, I would start, I would say you start pumping your bids in right now. You're not crazy, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, so here's the problem. Uh, and, and even the, um, and even the dissident right website that I can't hint at anymore uh, even said Trump went along with the with, uh, with the mass hysteria hoax. I have to change the wording a little bit to avoid getting banned. Uh, yeah, but he went along with the mass hysteria bullshit, right? And uh, now Trump's going to pay the price. Uh, like before, he had a small lead. Now he might actually he's actually going to lose the election, right? If this keeps going, right? How the fuck are you still only barely ahead of fucking brain dead Joe Biden, right? Uh, it's just so frustrating to see. Oh, uh, and we can't do much to help Trump because he didn't do shit to fucking uh, deal with the censorship, right? All he kept doing was listening to his stupid fucking uh, America last uh, kids, Jared Kushner and Ivanka Trump. And then you have the grift right and the fake right not fucking helping either, right? You know, they just want everybody's money, right? They're, they're basically like... Stuff doing what? See, that's a, that's that's why I kind of wish uh, Nick Fuentes would call them all out, all right? Uh, and, and then just burn the whole thing down and then just start the fireworks. But I mean, obviously he he probably yeah, you know, but he knows he knows just about everything. So at least I hope he does. So he probably has his reasons. But uh, I'm just so I'm just so annoyed, right? And, and then the, and then conservatives and Republicans because you know they they. Because first of all, I'm not fans. I'm not being propped up for obvious reasons, so I can't teach them critical thinking. Right? They just want to keep them ignorant and docile. Right? They, the the real, the the new the new aspiring establishment. Right? And um, you know they're going to take down Western society with them. Oh, and in the meantime, when that happens, they'll be like, oh yeah, it's all China's fault. So it's like a double fucking whammy. You know, and it's just pissing me off. U.S. Congress considering bill to launch massive survey on blockchain tech. Um, I thought we had four articles, but yeah. Hmm. U.S. lawmakers are putting new on that has caused the FTC and Secretary Carter to launch a trial investigating the uses of the state of adoption blockchain in U.S. The U.S. Advanced Blockchain Act was a priority. 
if the laws put FTL or permit feds will conduct a survey of interest as well as part of a used blockchain to lay the tracks for a national blockchain strategy. The study will also investigate the amount and disadvantage of widespread of tech in the U.S. and turn it by and related to its enroll of federal agencies. Blockchain is a technical opinion, but the driver does not include a mention of cryptocurrency or digital. And the tech suggests the bill is focused on the uses of blockchain and how the tech impacts interstate commerce. All right, it'll start out good, but now, now I'm just starting to get suspicious of the government, especially now that Democrats are probably going to take over, right? Unless Trump fucking, you know, figures something. Like, all he's talking about is, oh, I'm not going to fix approval already. He, he still thinks, like, the same dumb shit he did in 2016 is going to work here, right? Uh, if I were him, I would worry about demographics and the mail-in voter fraud. Because if he doesn't deal with that, he's definitely going to lose. All right? yeah, but you know, Trump wants to keep pandering because he's just fucking listening to all these traitors and his stupid uh, son-in-law, Jared Kushner, along with his dumb daughter, Ivanka. God. <sighs> I mean, as much as like it's frustrating to see Trump not doing what he promised... I still need him to win re-election, right? Because now, because you know what they're going to, because as long as Trump's in office, then I know this thing is not going to be a problem. But now the Democrats are going to, you know what they're going to do, right? They're going to fucking, they're going to do exactly what they're trying to do with the coronavirus lockdown. Just track everybody, lock everybody in their homes, take all their money, and then just prevent you from doing anything. And then let the big businesses run run the world completely right notice that you can go to costco or walmart target but you can't fucking open a hair salon the little small little guy right that's what this is about what do you think they're gonna do with this fucking law right they're gonna start tracking everyone who's you, like you and me using like you know this shit and bitcoin and they'll say okay you can't have it anymore this is the ban on cryptocurrency they're laying the groundwork for it and because everyone's too poor and stuck because of you know people are too retarded and agreeing to the lockdown, what do you think is going to fucking happen, all right? Now, did you see those videos here in New York City where the cops are just, like, harassing random people, including mostly black people, for not properly wearing a fucking mask? It's so stupid. Like, she even has her mask. And it's like, you know, they, they took ten cops and fucking, direct, and like, you know, and they still charged her with resisting arrest and whatever. It's like... <sighs> God, it, it's so frustrating. It's, uh, it's just like... Uh, so, you know, blockchain tech's under my... Normally, this would be a good thing, but obviously I'm being su suspicious now. Blockchain tech is under the UD. Draft also aims to get an overview of how the U.S. fares with our country in terms of blockchain adoption amid advances by China. Right, because we haven't heard about China coin in a while. The bill is proposed the International Survey that will establish a list of detailing the blockchain here of at least 10 to 15 countries. Okay, so, all right. So, America coin is coming. Um, the dissident right website I'm reading is very suspicious of it. I was okay with it, but uh, now that the people in charge are starting to really wrap up shit, mm, well, it's like, it should be a cause for celebration, but now it's just like, uh, you know, because again, it's a tool. That's all it is, right? A tool can be used for good and it can be used for bad. Right now, I'm worried that's going to be used for bad now instead of good. All right, but there's, there's some uh, good news at least. JP Morgan Research. I mean, technically, this is also good, too, but we'll just have to see. Like, Trump better get his fucking act together. Hmm. I'll force up the burp if I have to. JP Morgan Research shows coronavirus rate of infection. Ah, declining states where lockdowns have ended. Ah, yeah, so the shit lib Twitter is trying to, like, prop, uh, prop, prop, the, prop up the opposite. Looks like JP Morgan has realized they kind of need to reopen this world, otherwise they're not getting shit for money. New research from JP Morgan shows a decline in infection rates of coronavirus in states that have uh, that have ended their lockdown measures. Carl Quinn tweeted the results of the okay, so we're gonna actually retweet this. This is very important. This should this should more or less nullify the shit libs. <clears throat> In states where even after life, they appropriate measurement lag. Yes. See, this guy even says devastating. Why is this considered devastating? Oh, it's devastating to the shit lips. JP has a devastating piece of According to report, coronavirus infection rates decreased after lockdowns ended, even after factoring in seven day delay in testing lags. The current goal, uh, uh, yeah, see, uh, it, it was all bullshit. It's all bullshit. All right, blah, 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 blah. JP Morgan Research argued that although lockdowns may have been justified at first, they might not. They might not now only cause economic devastation, but also more deaths 
that, yeah, from suicides and people going crazy from boredom or whatever and going on mass shootings. In fact, um, there was uh, that Hispanic guy that went on a shooting rampage yesterday. Shockingly, it seems like nobody died. One person was in critical condition. Well, I'm not sure. They said it had to be taken to the hospital with serious wounds. So whatever the hell that means. <clears throat> And then the and so he shot three people, and then two of them are expected to survive uh, as of yesterday. So I don't know. And there was even a video of him. He filmed himself doing it. So he was at point blank range. So either he missed, or it's possible he actually let people live. Uh, so I, I don't know. I'm gonna actually lean towards he let them live because at that range with a fucking AR-15, how do you not kill someone, right? Unless you don't want to kill them, right? Uh, I don't know. <clears throat> Going to Quinn Attila's thread, JP Morgan also cite the poor performance of Trump at and managing the initial outbreak and then responding inappropriately by forecasting a larger negative impact. All right, so obviously there's always a way to hit hurt Trump, but the other hand, uh, it looks like the globalists do want to kind of reopen ish. All right, but I don't know. Uh, the globalists don't know what they want, so they're just kind of just throwing you know mud and see what sticks initial but of course the aim is always to get rid of trump and whatever it is they're doing they know it's working all right this is no accident these results this is no accident the initial response to the admin was to downplay the risk of coronavirus however since then the simplicity of these changed significantly they actually showed the forecasting larger negative events setting stage for them to outperform shifting the pandemic blame to china and the who Ah, so JP Morgan Chase must be getting money from China and shifting the blame for economic pain to large blue staff are perceived slowing down the reopening of the economy. Well, that's actually true. It deal allowed economic activity across the without largely following partisan lines. You can check out the full thread here. Uh, I actually do want to do that. Uh, I came close to calling the peak of the unit back in April 6. I love that they're giving Trump a credit kind of fast, but all along, it doesn't matter if it like he or she happens to be a good idea now. Where is this from? New source. Well, it makes sense. Uh, I mean, so he took the knowledge, pressed down on the door, said, I said, I'm going to die. But I also said, man, biggest kind of history scheme was banned on Wall Street. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay. And they actually push a hoax where they could have topped off. Yeah, if Trump were fucking smart, he should have, instead of blaming fucking China for this, what he should have been fucking doing was blaming the Democrats for this. Right. Not only would he come off as less of a fucking racist asshole and pissing uh, off all the non-whites and possibly potential, uh, potentially pissing, uh, pissing me off. He also would be putting this an actual fair amount of blame on the fucking Democrats. Because, yes, the, see, like if Trump loses, he 100 percent deserves to lose because he had every fucking opportunity to not only fulfill all his promises, but then masterfully attack like all the people who deserve, truly deserve the blame. And he doesn't take it, any of it. You know, this guy's retarded. You know, I actually will not shed a tear if Trump actually winds up losing billions after he gets kicked out of office uh, this year if he, you know, doesn't, you know, pick up the fucking pace, right? I'm not going to fucking defend him, all right? Because like, well, what did that get me? I lost fucking everything, all right? Now, the good news is that everything that I had also happened to be bad, but I didn't need Trump for that. What I needed was God. I just wish somebody told me that, and I would have just done it, all right? You know, so, you know, has Trump done a lot of good? I'm not really entirely sure. You know, it's like, uh, basically, conservatives is way overextended. That's essentially what it's going to come. Like, if Trump gets kicked out this year, then what we did in 2016 was overextension, right? We overextended ourselves, right? Which basically, which means, basically, we wouldn't have better if Hillary were, <laughs> were president. You know, that's how, that's how bad it is. Right, because look at the look at the shit and censorship and all this crap we have to deal with. Uh, and to be honest, I just don't want to grift for uh, America first or whatever. It's like, all right, man. It's like I, I, I've had it with this shit. You know, I'm just gonna rather build my game, get famous, do my own shit, and then I don't know, just let it, just let just let uh, the Democrats wipe out the remnants of the Republican Party, and then uh, I don't know, pick up the pieces, assuming there are any pieces left to pick up. Well, we'll, see. Uh, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. I still find it annoying that this stupid fucking asshole said it's a devastating. What do you mean it's devastating? This is good. It's like, it just goes to show that these guys, these people are fucking evil. They're all like fucking asshole evil people. And they're going to win. Right? So far, they're winning. The was to downplay the risk of Korea. However, since this is she. 
blah blah blah. Shifted pack like who shifted blood aggravated blue uh, it should be known that JP came close to calling the peak in cases back in April six. Oh, they're giving Trump any credit. Yeah, so um should be noted okay. It should be noted that the globalists don't know what they want to do, but the aim is to always hurt Trump and it's working. See Joe Biden almost fifty fifty now to Trump on election odds. Let's see, where's the predicted thing? Okay. Well, but they has always hurts Trump and it's working. Yes, we'll do that. So reply here. I don't think he'll block me, but you never know, right? But this guy's a fucking asshole. Well, like, uh, like, why is it devastating? Wait, what does he? Who does he work for? Yeah, he works for CNBC. Okay. All right. I think he'll be okay because I didn't say anything, but I just said the globalist or whatever. Uh, but it's working, and yeah, it's totally working. So. Uh, this is actually pretty important. So we're actually gonna make this the thumbnail. I'll figure out the thumbnail what the thumbnail is. Let's see uh, So blockchain tech bidding wars. All right, so mix of good news bad news um, I mean the bad news is really just me personally, right? Because obviously I need Trump to be reelected because it's actually gonna harm us in terms of blockchain It's gonna be re it's gonna it's gonna really cause problems like a lot of you might be like yeah fuck Trump Yeah, well, let's see uh, You're gonna say the same thing when they start Regulating, taking all your fucking crypto, right? And they track everything, right? When you can't spend it anywhere because you know the, the U.S. the might of the U.S. Army and the uh, SEC is like telling all your websites outside of America, by the way, bullying them into saying you better take everyone's info, otherwise we're gonna put you in jail. Then you have nowhere to spend your crypto. All right, people are like, you know, it's exactly what happened with big tech censorship, right, of conservatives, and a little bit of the Bernie bros, or Bernie gals, I guess, apparently, right? They're going to do the same thing with cryptocurrency, right? And because it's about money, they're going to go after everybody, all right? So it doesn't matter if you're a fucking Democrat or Republican or whatever, right? They'll just take all your shit, right? And then you should have been like, oh, yeah, I should have voted for Trump, even though I hate his guts, because at least it wouldn't have happened. But it'll be too late by then. And that's why I'm getting, you know, pissed uh, about this this should just not be happening period ah uh, but uh yeah you know trump blaming china and the who is like the problem is again he still is thinking in terms of um you know 2016. yeah he can use race it got you there but you're the president now so we ex so it's expected and the perception is that you act differently ish right and you know he had he had plenty of good scapegoats right and what does trump do he just like he's just, just jerking off essentially so you know <sighs> but you know if i were trump he should hardcore like the first thing he should really do is just start hammering the democrats period bring back up the fact that all this devastation was caused by the impeachment hoax because that's nice and safe and that is actually you know kind of true and then push much harder for the reopening and then just keep just keep complaining about how this is about uh caging everyone's rights he, see that's the thing too he doesn't even tweet about caging people's rights and shit he's just saying oh yeah i support the protesters like this fucking guy is just like so frustrating oh, God. see every fucking time i follow this fucking asshole he starts doing stupid shit it's just like it's exactly like dealing with a hot girl that is just so emotionally unstable. Like, normally I would just fucking walk away. Most men would. But you can't walk away from the President of the United States. He's always gonna be fucking there. I, I guess that's why people just are fucking so annoyed with this shit. This, this fucking guy. He better, he better fucking start doing something correctly. Now that I unfollowed him, I'm pretty sure, uh, you know, things will actually change. That's usually, it's, it's so, I'm never going to follow him ever again, no matter how, how much good he does. Like, he's just going to be an asshole, old, then just whatever. Anyway, if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from where you're watching this from, or on my YouTubes at youtube.com forward slash JMC Radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button so that we can continue uh, growing this channel. 
Anyway, I'm done for the week. Have a nice weekend. Uh, I want to get back to playing this new game called Hades Star. Um, you know, because I really need some kind of sci-fi game tactical strategy fix. Um, oh, and also empire building. And then uh, also I'll probably think more about the city building kit too. So, because uh, as much as I want to add more stuff to my tower defense game, I think there's not much more I can add to it. Right? I'll commission the music, commission uh, maybe some artwork. No, I'll probably just use 3D assets, uh, uh, build up the perks, and start publishing. And then, you know, and that's it. Right? And then I have a really simplistic game out. Oh, yeah, I got to design levels, but designing out levels is pretty easy. Um, and we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, uh,. Yeah, during the day or your week or whatever, everything looks normal. Uh, looks like today's gonna be a down day for the market. So uh, yeah, uh, I don't see anything changing. But for the most part, fundamentals look technically technically they're better. However, there will be sus I have suspicions about this because again, Trump loses the election. Yep, uh, the globalists. I mean, JP Morgan's like, yeah, well, you know, we should probably end the lockdown. So I mean, they don't really know what they want. So. Yeah, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I'll see you all on Monday, unless, of course, something significant happens over the weekend. But aside from that, yeah. Judson Chan, JFC Coin, 404 Coin, and this will be our thumbnail.